Broadcasting from our new news studio with state-of-the-art Piranha Plant protection to your computer or mobile device, this is Minecraft News! Hello and welcome to Minecraft News, bringing you the most news for your views. I'm Adam, aka Swimming Bird, filling in for Blunderbuss Clumberbum while he's away filming the new series of BBC Sherlock. And uh, here is the news. Now, lots of 1.7 news coming out. Not any official word yet on a snapshot, but some pretty big hints coming in. First off, here's a bit of news from Dinnerbone. He says, I've just deployed a fix to the launcher for the bug that made it take more than a second to load up. Sorry about that. And I can report that the loader, the uh, launcher does seem to load a lot faster than it did before. So that's a nice little fix for us in 1.6. But on to the 1.7 news, Dinnerbone also tweeted, I know when the next snapshot is, but I'm not telling you, hashtag meanbone. I have a pretty good feeling it's going to be soon. Now, a, a little bit of bad news concerning that first snapshot. Uh, Dinnerbone says, the first 1.7 snapshot will not have any terrain changes with 225,000 changed lines unrelated to terrain since 1.6.2. We're going to test that first. And he also clarified, okay, that tally was bad. It's a lot, though, like most of the code. So because of how many things they've changed outside of terrain changes, we're not going to get any of that yet. They want to test the other features first, but there's still a ton of stuff like fishing and different things we're going to get. So the first snapshot should still be very interesting but it's only going to make the anticipation even more for all the train changes coming in 1.7, so exciting nonetheless. Now, speaking of some of these other changes, Jeb tweeted this, uh, and pay careful attention to this screenshot. He said, After hours of pain, this finally works. Custom data via commands, as always, may change before release. So Jeb uh, tweeted this little command here. It's the give a player an item, but he's also allowed it so you can customize lore within game. You don't need to use MC Edit or any filters or anything like that, MBT editors. So here's his sword Edward with the lore description. Edward made this. It's not your fault. So now we can make custom little descriptions and lore for our items in game. That's awesome. Now, if you're looking very carefully, this is the screenshot I want you guys to pay attention to. There's three big things here. The first one that's pretty obvious is that the decorative tab now has the uh, ponia, ponia, however you say that, the pink flowers there instead of uh, the original little design that it had on there. And uh, that's denoting the new flowers in there. I think they, they just spiced that up a little bit. Now, here are some other things you might not have noticed in the background. We're going to zoom and enhance. Now, on the right there, you can kind of see, uh, here's a, 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 another even more little zoomed shot, the tall grass that was previously revealed along with the sunflowers the other week. Very interesting stuff, but we're getting tall, taller grass. So there's like the base grass block, then we have the tall grass, and now we have like tall, tall grass. And the other thing that's very interesting in this, uh, this screenshot right here, way in the background, you can see a new type of tree, what looks like. Uh, almost seems to be some sort of like acacia maybe. Uh, could be something with new jungles or the savanna biome. Who knows, but it's hidden right above the lava bucket in the back of that screenshot. Very interesting indeed. We'll have to see more on that soon. Now, uh, one last big thing here on fishing from Dinnerbone. Uh, he, he hinted here and flat out told us one of the new species of fish. Now, brewing a puffer fish into a water breathing potion makes sense, right? So he's uh, revealing now that the puffer fish is one of the new types of fish we're going to be able to catch. Uh, he also said, don't worry, eating the puffer fish will be strongly discouraged through the use of deadly neurotoxins, sounding a bit like a GLaDOS from Portal there. And uh, one last thing about fishing here, fishing rewards in 1.7 are split into three piles, treasure, junk, and fish, and there are enchantments to uh, change your luck between the piles. So it sounds like we are going to either use uh, looting or some type of uh, enchantment there to help us, or there'll be a unique fishing enchantment just for the fishing rods to help us get more stuff. But yeah, these cute little puffer fish, who knows what they're going to look like, but it's a new type of fish for us, and we definitely shouldn't eat them unless you properly know how to prepare them. Hopefully they'll add some other things, like we're getting these new puffer fish for potions, but stuff like the, the witches still don't have a unique potion use as of yet. It'd be kind of cool if they dropped something for maybe some type of potion that we don't have, like a jump boost potion or something like that. Who knows? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's all the news for now. Hopefully we'll have see a snapshot very soon here, and I'll be able to report from the field. 
Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more Minecraft news. Goodbye.